Hey guys, welcome to the 136th C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, we're going to continue working on our button control. Now, in the previous tutorial, we made it look as though um, our button is like a glass effect. Well, the only problem is since we have a label on there, it like cuts out part of that um, like darker gray uh, rectangle at the bottom. So instead of using a label, we're going to actually draw the text onto our form. So let's just go back to our button and delete this label because we're not going to be using it anymore. All right. So what we're going to do is basically just draw it using the draw string method. So we're just going to have a string up here with the store the string um, that the user sets as this uh, properties value. So it's going to say string. Let's call it text equals nothing, and then we'll return that variable. And then when you set button text equal to something, it will actually be setting um, this text, this string text equal to something, or equal to that value. All right, and then on um, the location that we're going to be drawing the string will be, remain the same as before. So it's going to say point uh, app here. Oops. Point app equals this. I'll call it app point. And in case you're wondering, um, the app basically just stands for float, and it's just a different type of point where uh, the two coordinates are floats. And we just need that in order to draw a string. So now we're just going to be using the draw string method. So we're going to say g.draw string. The first thing that calls for is the string that we're going to draw. And we're going to be drawing this text right up here. So we're just going to say text. And then the font, well, we're going to have to create a new font. So I'll say font. F equals new font. Then we need font family, so we're going to go up here and create a font family. Font family, FF equals new font family. And the name of the font that we're going to be using is just Arial. And you can obviously just change this to anything you want, but I'm just going to use Arial for right now. And now that we have our font family set up, we pass FF through here. And then the size of the font that we're going to be the size that we're going to have our font be. I'll just make it 8. That's like the standard size. Alright, so now that we have our font all set up, we can pass font through our, our, our font that we created through our draw string method so that we have a font to write with. And then the brush that we're going to be using is S. And then the point F, and as you can see it says point F right there, so this does have to be point F. And we'll just pass through our point that we created, so F point. All right, now the only thing that we have to do is uh, change the color of this brush to black so that we can actually see the text. So we're just going to say s dot color equals color dot black. All right, and we also have to mess with these values right here. So we're just going to make it um, text dot blank. And same for the height. This isn't perfect, but well, it'll be close enough. You can always mess with it in the future. So now let me build right here. You see, yeah, the text is just a little off center. Uh, you can obviously mess with it if you want. So I don't know if we like subtract a few things right here. Like subtract like I don't know, like five and subtract like five right here. It's not a perfect system, but I don't know. It's better than nothing. You can obviously mess with it on your own. So now we debug here and you can see, yep, text is good. Now if we go to change the text property to something different like, uh, hello, I am Adam, we should see that on the form, we should see a change. Now we build here to see it. Yep, hello, I am Adam. So yep, uh, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we're gonna change the color when you like hover over it and stuff like that. So, see you guys.